Uh, first off, I want you guys to hear something that's encouraging. Two years ago, if I could tell you, you know, it looked like we were coming apart at the scenes when it comes to race. I think there's a huge pushback. I really do. Everywhere I see people who come back go, okay, can we calm down? Like, I'm not even worried about the World Cup, them taking a knee anymore, especially because it's not the women. So this is the head coach of the Buccaneers. When asked, since he's coaching against another black coach, Todd Bowles, he was asked this question earlier this week, Cut 38. You and Mike Tomlin are two of the few black head coaches in the league. I wonder what your relationship is like with them and your thoughts on Steve Wilkes joining that fold. I have a very good relationship with Tomlin. Uh, we don't look at what color we are when we coach against each other. We just know each other. I have a lot of very good white friends that coach in this league as well, and I don't think it's a big deal as far as us being coaching against each other. I think it's normal. Wilkes got an opportunity to do a good job. Hopefully he does it. And we coach ball. We don't look at color. But you also understand that representation matters too, right? And that when young aspiring coaches or even football players, they see you guys, you know, they see someone that looks like them, maybe grew up like them, that has to mean something. Well, when you say you see you guys and look like them and grow up like them, it means that we're eyeballs to begin with. And I think the minute you guys start stop making a big deal about it, everybody else will as well. So I, w- I just wanted to get your perspective, and Allison pulled the whole thing. I never heard the whole thing, wow. Allison and Eric, um, Pete. But what's, what's your reaction to that? Well, I, I just think that <laughs> to hear a reporter sort of school a black coach on how he should respond to race relations is an unbelievable situation. But and not he, surprising. He, he handled it so well. And uh, uh, somebody that is uh, maybe of a weaker mindset would have been like, yeah, you know, you're right. I understand where you're coming from. And he held his ground. He was like, no, listen, though, you just said you guys to us. That's, He's that's, put, more of an, that's an us versus them situation when the other perspective is, no, everybody is equal. Not seeing color is a good thing. That's how it always should have been. But people have literally been canceled for saying those exact same things. It's true. Uh, so well said, I defer the balance of my time back to Carly. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, this exact, I mean, it's, it's in this case, a female white liberals shaming and telling certain people how they are supposed to think, the way they're supposed to view the world. I, I'm not, I have not been a believer that the pendulum is going to swing back. Maybe it will. Maybe it, maybe I there's it will. so much lunacy. I, because of the education aspect of it, that's what makes me concerned that it won't swing back as properly as it should be. But it's going to be free thinking, courageous men like this yeah. who look reporters who are driving an agenda in the eye and say, that's not true. What Good coach was that that said that? That, uh, that? that was Todd Balls, head coach of the Buccaneers, former coach of the Jets. Tuka, he's got been to a head coach twice in five years. So there, there should be other opportunities. Okay. No, I'm a Bucks fan. Yeah, well, I didn't even want yeah. to be one. And you know what, Pete? I agree with you that I think that at the top, like the tippy top of companies and um, uh, colleges, the sort of um, – Ivy League mentality. I don't think it's going anywhere there when it comes to like the hardcore, like we have to be hyper focused on race. But I think normal people, it's it used to be something that people would sort of tiptoe around and now everybody's really over it. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.